Example 2.10. In this example, we have a 0.4 pound fish sinker, which is attached to a fishing line as is shown. The specific gravity of the sinker is equal to 11.3. We need to determine the difference between the tension in the line above and below the sinker. In order to start the analysis, the first thing that we need to do is to draw a free body diagram. So let's just start with the sinker. And the main two forces that we have are going to be the weight of the sinker and the buoyancy force. Then we also have the tensions, the tension going up. So we draw it right on top of it is TA. And the tension pulling it down is TB. We are going to do the summation of the forces in the vertical direction, and we're going to make them equal to zero. Then we rewrite this by saying that FB, which is the buoyancy force, plus tension at A is equal to tension at B plus the weight of the sink. What we're looking for is TA minus TB. Therefore, we solve this by saying that is the weight of the sinker minus the buoyancy force. Let's now define the weight of the sinker. We're going to use the weight of the sinker. It's going to be the specific weight of the sinker times the volume of the sinker. We do not have the specific weight of the sinker. However, we do have the specific gravity. So we do a specific gravity times the, sp the specific uh, weight of water times the volume. So that is the definition that we're going to use for the moment. We also know that the buoyancy force is going to be the specific weight of water times the volume. So notice that the only quantity that we do not have in order to calculate the weight or the buoyancy force is the volume. So however, we do have the specific weight of the sinker by having the specific gravity and the value of the specific weight of water. And we also have the weight of the particular sinker. So we could say that the volume is going to be equal to the weight of the sinker divided by gamma of water times the specific gravity of the quantities that we have. Therefore, in order to calculate the weight, we substitute it over here. So we have water times the volume, weight of the sinker, gamma of water times Sg. And notice how the gamma of water cancels and cancels. If we substitute the two values that we want into the equation that we're looking for, we see that Ta minus Tb is going to be equal to the weight of the sinker minus, and this is the buoyancy force, is basically the weight of the sinker divided by the specific gravity of the sinker. There we could say simply that Ta minus Tb is equal to 0.36 five pounds. The fact that this difference it is positive, it indicates that the tension going upwards is higher than the tension uh, going lower. Please go back and review the quantities observed in this problem, understand the basic concepts, and try to do it on your own.